Uh, the red is an indication of the where our vehicle is going towards. So, for example, if you're curving into a lane and you have a slight curve remaining, so that's just the way Tony has pulled up, or so the autonomous vehicle has pulled up, or the Cadillac has pulled up ahead of us. And you can also see that now it picked up, it's a solid circle light, not an arrow light. Um, and this oh, is right. all again because it's communicating to that light via DSRC. There's also this theme of safety and confidence in the car. So we're letting, the car is letting us know of everything it sees immediately. I see green, here's a ride share, or I'm seeing this, I'm turning now. Um, so that, that idea of safety and confidence, we want you as a passenger to feel comfortable in the car. Okay, so... Delphi drive ending in 1,000 feet. Matt, prepare to take over. So the idea here is that we want the autonomous vehicle has done a situational assessment of the surroundings and determined that now is a good time for the driver to take over and now he is there's he's driving the car his hands uh -huh. are back on the steering wheel so this is a very important topic for automakers uh -huh. and we Delphi feels that this is one demonstration of the HMI but say you're in a construction zone or you're not paying attention uh -huh. the system does a a calculated algorithm of checking your driver's state as well as the surroundings to determine the right time to let you know. It so, cannot startle you to say Is there a camera over. on his eyes or what do you got on Your destination up? is on the right. There's a camera on his eyes? Yes. What happens if he closes his eye right now? We'll run into somebody. We're not going to do that no. for you. No. The <laughs> algorithm actually relies on, for example, blinking, it relies oh, on okay. your past head poses, for example, so it's a more sophisticated algorithm. Oh, okay. So basically you set up the uh, DSRC ar around yeah, this all route. all those lights you saw okay. were connected. We saw the Cadillac, which, you know, we were okay. able to see what it was doing, its maneuver. Um, we saw pedestrian, which okay. it was along a blind curve. So even though we visually couldn't see her, okay. we could see that she is, there's a pedestrian there because of the phone, the DSRC okay. equipped phone that we were I talking about. Okay. Cool. So um, basically, how is this done? There, The computer now is all worked into the car itself and we can't even see it, right? The computers... Well, there's still, there's still a lot of several uh, separate processing units that are built on okay. the back of the seats. Into okay. the real wells where you, so okay. you can still use the luggage. And the, up here are the cameras. Uh, do you want us to take four, you around? Yeah, four, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, the we don't have that, to do that. These uh. are the cameras over here that look at the driver. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see those. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what do you wish people knew about this car? Was the best question you got all all day today? <laughs> this question. Well, how soon are you going to have this on the road? Um, and. You know, we think it's still several years away before you've got fully automated vehicles on the road. Uh, you got a legal framework that's not there yet. You got a regulatory environment that's that's spotty at best around this. But we think the individual sensors, if you just take a couple of those, like radar and vision, for example, already in production today and go more widespread, you'll get more and more of the drive automated, but you'll have a significant improvement in the safety statistics. So for about 20% of the cost of an automated vehicle adder, you can get 80% of the safety benefit from just a couple of hundred dollars of sensors on the car. It keeps the car from running into other cars, keeps the car from leaving your lane, which is where the majority of accidents occur. 94% of accidents are due to human error, according to the NHTSA statistics. So with this technology, you can make sure the car is never distracted, uh, even if the driver is.